Hello once again, this is JR and uh, welcome to Speed Edit Advanced Tutorial number one. Um, I have previously made uh, a few tutorials, one and two, uh, concerning Speed Edit, and this will be my third one. Uh, and I'll try to walk through you um, the advanced uh, settings for uh, Speed Edit um, when you're editing um, either at home or for your business. Okay, here we go. In advanced editing, in the previous um, tutorial that I showed, I showed you how to cut and basically uh, set your clips as you wanted to. <clears throat> now, uh, what I'm going to do here right now is I'm going to take a clip and uh, I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to cut another clip here. And I'm going to I'll lower it just to show you show you exactly what I want to do. I'll expand it a little bit. And uh, when you go and speed edit, and when you just aim your mouse at the beginning of the clip, right at the beginning, you see that FD. That means uh, fade. So I can fade in and fade out. Uh, it's a little tricky, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, a nice tool to have. Doesn't seem to be working. So I'll go ahead and um, show you the digital video effects that are available in Speed Edit instead, and I'll get back to that later on. Um, two methods that you can work on with Speed Edit is uh, part of my accent, by the way. I'm French, and uh, I try very, very hard to. Uh, communicate properly in English but uh, my French seems to take over sometimes in my mind and I have a hard time translating efficiently okay now uh, let's say I want to have this little kind of a spark effect which I find very cool so uh, one the easy thing about speed edit is when you um, when you want to make a add a transition, it's fairly simple. The best way to do it, I find, is you just select the clip, and you'll notice that when the clip is selected, the title goes blue. And I go up in my storyboard, and I just put it where exactly where I want it. And I'll just show you a little what it what it does. I'll look at the screen right here. And there we go. Now I like that. Now let's say I want to put some titling. I select the title box right here. I go into either title page, crawl page, or scroll page. Those are the three uh, basic uh, titling functions that you have with Speed Edit. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, put that right here. Now, when you want to write something in your title box, it's fairly simple. You go in Control Tree, Title, and you see your cursor will be blinking right here. And uh, you write what you want. Go, Alex. Go. That's my son. That's when he's starting skating. And uh, he wasn't too good, but man, did he have a heart of gold. Now you can modify your lettering when you go to uh, you want to make a bulkier, make it uh, on the side, choose the font that you want, font that you want. That's hilarious. And uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. And uh, you can even change the color. Let me put that bright, bright red. There we go. And let's say I want to position it right here. Oh, um, if you want to put edges as well, you can do you can do so. What you do is you select your uh, what you wrote on the screen, and uh, you basically choose the background, the edge that you want. 
and that's not too bad. Let's say you want to move your text. You go on your uh, in your control box, control tree box right here, which is in your selected clip properties, and you click the text. Now, a cool thing about Speed Edit is in this uh, you have all these settings here that you can really, really work um, almost frame by frame. Let me show you an example. Let's say I want my clip to begin at the beginning. You have your size here, your percentage size. And uh, let's just say I want to have it small and good, then go big and go small again. I'm going to click this arrow right here, and you see there's a like a timeline grid here. I'm going to place it right at the beginning. I'm going to go right here. Now I selected that point in reference, and I find that the best way to start it off is I'll give it 0%, press enter, and uh, let's just say that uh, three seconds sounds good. Re click it, and let's say I want it 100%. Oh, you can also stretch this out for your convenience if you want. And uh, let's say at uh, well, five seconds. Five. I'm going to put it at 100% as well. And at, let's say, seven seconds. It'll be quick, but it'll give a nice result, I, I hope. Okay, now let's look at this. Now, you don't have to, you don't have to go back to your timeline and whatnot. When you're working in, um, in your control tree, you can basically leave it at your control tree. Let me remove this. And uh, all you have to do is uh, look at your screen and uh, the action goes right there. So just pay attention right here and you'll see what we've done. Okay, that's not too bad. Now let's just say I want to have um, kind of a smoother effect uh, easing in and um, really popping out. As, uh, as the effect goes. You have the nod and you have the uh, influence. When you press influence, you see you, you have the little X, the X right here. You click that area and then you can really modify and influence your tra your um, what you're trying to do size-wise. And this is applicable uh, with any kind of detailing you want to have done um, when you use in the control tree this kind of particular format. Anything that you go in here and um, that you work with in here, uh, basically you can uh, have it behave the way that you want to. Now let's take, let's take a look at what it, this is going to give us. I'm going to press spacebar, pay attention right here. I can, as you can see it's coming in slowly and woof, it came out fast and then it's going back. I'm going to go in timeline and I'm just going to stretch that out. It's at 275% uh, speed. I'll reset it to 100% to and uh, it'll give you a be better idea of what the effect will look like. I press spacebar again. You see it, it's coming in very slowly and at one point it's going to speed up. There. Let's try that again because uh, for whatever reason. Anyways, I know it speeds up, and so will you if you're working with a uh, proper computer, like, not like mine. Okay, let me just stretch that in. Okay, um, oh, another thing, when you're using uh, transitions like that, let's say you want this, let me take out the, uh, the effect, and you want this, now I've 